This morning I was so inspired that I have to tell you about it. I was out for my morning walk and I rounded the corner and I happened to see a young dad bringing out the garbage with his son. The son was getting ready to go to uh, school and uh, so before he went to school he and dad took out the garbage. Now that's no big deal on a regular basis, right? Lots of men take the garbage out, lots of women take it out too, but it does seem to be more traditionally the man's role. So what made this special is the fact that dad was in a wheelchair and this wonderful young dad was you know pushing his wheelchair with one arm and he's dragging the garbage can with the other uh, working his way down to the bottom of his driveway and the son following with the other uh, parts of the garbage and he sees me across the street as I'm marching up the hill on my morning walk and he gives me a big wave and a big good morning and I of course responded and like my heart literally just exploded <laughs> I just I was so in awe I mean here's this man I don't know if he's always been in a wheelchair or if he had a sports injury or a car accident or what, but for whatever reason, he's in a wheelchair and he has figured out how to turn lemons into lemonade. He hasn't said to himself, oh, poor me, I can't do anything. Instead, he's figured out a way to do what he can. And in this case, it was something so ordinary as taking out the garbage that he still decided that he's going to do what he can, little things like that. That's how he sends messages to his family. That's how he says, thank you for being alive. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being my family. I'm so lucky to have you and this is how I show my love. It's when we celebrate the ordinary in the ordinary. It's when we look for ways to be grateful for what we have. And that when we stand back in awe that when we see those moments when we see others doing the same, when they're saying yes to possibility and, uh, you know, turning their focus on what they can do or what they can learn to do or, or how they can create going forward. It's when you decide to stop being negative about what life has dished you out and in, instead look forward to what that could turn into. Where's the silver lining? I really love helping women, watching women turn their lives into the most incredible adventures. Life is art and you are the canvas. You can create the body you desire and the future you deserve if you're ready to stop settling, to decide to stop tolerating the intolerable. It's when those things happen that magic occurs. That's when transformation begins. So I'm Maura Joy Lustig. Have a wonderful afternoon, and I look forward to speaking to you again. Send me a message. I'd love to hear what fires you up. Bye-bye for now.